Long, long ago, there lived a king who had a daughter called Jade. She was so beautiful that the sun itself was astonished whenever it shone in her face. The king loved Jade so much that he never let her play with anyone else. So the poor child had no friends and when she was bored, she took a golden ball and played with it. This ball was a favorite plaything. One day, Jade's golden ball rolled straight into the well. At this, she began to cry. Suddenly, she heard a voice. Why are you crying, little princess? She looked round to the side from where the voice came and saw a frog stretching forth its big ugly head. You, you can't help me. You are an ugly frog. Do not weep. I can help you. Please tell me. My golden ball fell into the well and the well is so deep. Hmm, okay, what will you give me if I bring your golden ball up again? Whatever you will have, my clothes, my pearls and jewels and even the golden crown which I am wearing. I do not care for your clothes, your pearls and jewels. But if you allow me to eat from your plate and sleep in your bed, I would bring the ball for you. She thought, how oh, can this ugly frog be anyone's friend? Oh yes, I promise you all you wish. The frog jumped into the well and it came up again with a ball in his mouth and threw it on the grass. Jade was delighted to see a pretty ball once more. She picked it up and ran away with it, forgetting all about the frog. Wait, princess! The next day, just as the royal family sat down to dinner, there was a knock at the door. Jade went to answer it and to her amazement, she saw the ugly frog sitting there. Good day, princess. Jade was so frightened to see the frog that she slammed the door and went back to the table. Who was that, my child? It is an ugly frog. What does the frog want from you? Jade narrated the old story to her parents. If you gave your word, you must keep it. I love your frog friend to come in. So Jade went to the door and let the frog in. Tap, tap, splash, splash came in the frog and with a lid sat beside Jade at the table. He ate from a plate and drank from a cup. I am tired now. Princess, take me to your bed. So she picked up the frog and took it to her bedroom. She put him on the corner of her bed and went to sleep. But she could not sleep a wink. So a frog friend sang for her. The voice was so nice and gentle that she slept peacefully. At dawn, the frog waved goodbye and went into the forest. That's the end of him. Next day, the frog came at dinner time, ate from a plate, drank from a cup and went to bed. Before sleeping, he sang for the princess. I wonder if he is going to make his home here. Mm, that is not a bad idea indeed. He seems to be very kind and a good friend. The third day also, the frog came. You have kept your word, my princess. And at sunrise, you will be rewarded with a surprise. Jade wondered about it for a long time, but she could not understand. When Jade woke up in the morning, she was astonished to see the most handsome prince she could have ever imagined. Thank you, princess. You have broken the spell. Uh, who are you? I am Prince Roland. An old fairy turned me to a frog, for I treated the animals very badly. She cursed me that only when a beautiful princess would allow me to eat from her plate and sleep in her bed for three nights, the spell would be broken. And so you did. Come with me to my kingdom and be my wife. Jade could hardly believe what was happening. Oh yes, I will marry you. They narrated the happenings to the king and the queen. They blessed the couple. From that day onwards, Jade was very careful to treat the animals with love and kind.